Try and guess? You don't know? Well, her name is Teacher Nikki. So we're going to call her Teacher Nikki. Hello, hello, Teacher Felicia. Hello, Hi. Malaika. And hello, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Nikki, and I'm so excited to be here in Bible class with you today. Awesome, Teacher Nikki. Yeah. Are you excited to make some new friends? I would love to make some new friends today. Awesome. Shall we see who's here? I think we should have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's you! And welcome to Bible Class. Yay. Yes. Today, Bible Class, we are going to learn all about Christmas. I love Christmas, Teacher Felicia. Do you love Christmas? I love Christmas too. Mm, what do you love about Christmas? I love getting gifts. Yeah. And I love singing songs. Love it. I love Christmas trees and getting gifts as well. Yes. Malika, what do you like? Tell me. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Malika, that says that she loves eating all the food. Oh my word. That's amazing. But Teacher Nikki, yeah. here at Bible class, we sing amazing songs. Mm. And we're going to sing our Bible class song. I don't know the Bible class song. Will you guys help me learn it? Yes, we definitely will. Mm. So, we have our clock. Okay. You can use your hands to clap as we sing. Okay. Come on, like a let's sing. Come, boys and girls, let us sing. Tick tock, says the clock. We glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock. It's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock. To love and learn and love. Yay! <laughs> Bible class time is such a great time, Teacher Nikki. That was so fun, Teacher Felicia. Thank you, boys and girls, for helping me learn the song. Yes. And today, we're going to learn all about Christmas from the Bible. Yay. I love the Bible. Teacher yeah. Felicia, there's so many stories in there. That is so, so true. What does that remind you of, Malaika? Hmm. Hmm. Tell me, tell me. Uh-huh. Yes, Malaika says that we're going to teach Teacher Nikki our Bible word song. I'm so excited. Yes, are you ready, boys and girls, to teach Teacher Nikki? Are you ready, Malaika? Yes. Teacher Nikki, do you have a Bible with you? I do. Yes, I have one too. Mm. Let's sing our Bible word song. Okay. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. Oh, a well, Bible word song is so good, that right? That was a beautiful song, boys and girls. Indeed. Well, now, Teacher Nikki, we are going to learn a story from the Bible. Yay. All about Christmas. Are you ready to listen? I am ready. Are you, boys and girls, ready to listen? Yes, are you ready, Malaika? Let's go have a listen. Hello, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to tell you a Christmas story. And I'm going to tell you a Christmas story because Christmas is just around the corner. Do you like Christmas? I love Christmas and I cannot wait for Christmas to come. During Christmas, we tell each other the story of Jesus and Jesus' birth and how God saves us from evil through the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, when Jesus was born, many people responded to him differently. Now, maybe you're thinking, whoa, 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 what is that big word you just used there? What does respond mean? Well, let me explain to you what respond means. When I see young boys and girls at the church on a Sunday or sometime, I love talking to them and saying hi to them. And some of them respond to me 
when I greet them with a big smile and they come running to me and they want to high five me or maybe even give me a hug. But other boys and girls are a little bit scared and they don't know me so well, so they respond to me differently. They just stand and they watch me. Sometimes they're even a little bit grumpy and they look at me with these angry eyes like they're thinking, who are you and what do you want? You see, that's how people respond to each other. Sometimes we respond to people in good ways and sometimes we respond to people in bad ways. And people responded to Jesus differently when he was born. Let me give you an example. Remember the story of the shepherds? When the shepherds heard about Jesus, they responded with joy. They were so glad. They, they ran to where he was, and they came and worshipped him. The wise men who traveled far from the east, they also responded kindly to Jesus. In fact, they brought him gifts. But at that time, there was a nasty old evil king. His name was King Herod. King Herod did not respond to Jesus with kindness. He wanted to hurt Jesus just because he was a nasty old man. And so Jesus' parents had to hide him from King Herod. So let me ask you a question. How should we respond to Jesus? How do you respond to Jesus? The Word of God says we must respond to Jesus with praise. We must lift our hands. We must sing songs to him. Why? Because he is a good God. He is good to us, and we are grateful, and we are thankful that God sent Jesus to save the world from evil. So why don't you take a moment with me right now, and let's respond to Jesus with thanks and with prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to earth to save us from all evil. And today we respond to you with praise and we thank you that you are always with us, that you are always kind, and that you always fill us with joy and peace. Amen. Remember, respond to people with kindness and respond to God with praise. Bye-bye. What an awesome story. I enjoyed it so much. Did you enjoy the story, Malaika? That is awesome. I hope you boys and girls enjoyed the story too. In today's story, we learned how God protects us from bad things and how God loves us so much. He doesn't want to see anything bad happen to us. Remember from the story, boys and girls, we mustn't be like the naughty King Herod. We need to be more like the shepherd and the wise men and worship Jesus. I'm so excited for Christmas. I hope you are too, boys and girls. Malaika, are you excited for Christmas? So am I. That's all that we have for, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.